Yo, we actually got the full squad now? Fifteen years ago feels like a dream now. Like it was an eternity away. You might never have to use those again. Now, wouldn't that be amazing? The Queen of Keves, though, she's still not free. What, you think our fight's still not over? Can't things stay like this? The soldiers, they're still fighting. Right this moment. Personally, if things could just stay this way, I'd be happy. You serious? If Granddad could hear you, he'd lay you out flat. Yeah, I know what he'd say. The soldiers are the roots from which we grew. But still, we are who we are, right? And them and the Mobius, they're a whole different story. No reason we can't coexist. Nah, don't give me that. Come on. There's no need to fight if we just stay out of each other's way. It's worked out fine for the past 15 years. I guess for you, it's all or nothing, huh? Huh? Those children are everything to me, you know? What choice have I got? Leave it to Uncle Rex. I'll show my thing go free. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. yeah. Can you stand? <sighs> Are we Nicole, actually fighting that? Ready to fight? <sighs> You too, Glim. Hop, hop. Huh? There'll be time for thinking later. For now, it's down to brass tacks.
Joke and Kevin and Lord. So that's his game, is it? I'll take the one on the left. Shulk, you take the right. Shopping. And as for you, kiddo. Me? Oi, who are you calling kiddo? You take out the Mobius. All in sync. What? In sync. Let's go. Hey! The hell? <laughs> <laughs>
Man, that's a big old hole. Phew. He gave us a hard time. Nice timing there, Rex. Thanks for that. Everyone knows the real hero steps up in the third act. <laughs> Still, something's off here. Hmm. Double the flame clock. But no soldiers in sight. There has to be more to it, boss. I've heard a rumor. What the hell? About how one of the Mobius likes to create all kinds of experimental flame clocks. That girl looks awfully familiar. Blinker, mind looking into that for me? I can do that. I'll dispatch a platoon. We'll see if they can get a handle on it. Lovely. All right, so... Who's this then? City refugee, it seems. Well, that explains the Ouroboros power. And this soldier, who released him? <sighs> My day keeps getting better. To business, tell me, Sean, how'd Mobius get the jump on you? Because of her. We'd meant to protect her, but she went and gave away our position. Mm. Hang on. Oh. You wanted to get back to your friends, huh? <sighs> Even if it meant getting us all killed. Uh, no! Don't try to play the innocent with me. <sighs> You were well aware of the consequences. But you decided to ignore that inconvenient fact. Enough. Stop! Hmm? I am not letting the enemy get into my head! Manners! I didn't ask for any of this! It was almost time for my homecoming! My comrades and I... We made it all this way! <laughs> Listen, two things. First of all, that there was your enemy. And second, let it go. Your friends are gone. Damn. Uh. Um, so... What's the plan from here, then? It's pretty clear you're not our enemies from the way stuff's panning out, but... It's all a bit... Eh, right? Don't give me that. Obviously, we're teaming up. Hey, mate? Dylan! Hey. Me! You were alive! <laughs> that was about my reaction, too. Glad you're still with us, Matt. I'll set us up some tents. We can all debrief each other there. Cool. Ah, oh, now we're talking. I haven't slept under shelter for yonks. First light, we'll make a start for our base. If it's all right with you, I'd feel a lot safer if we traveled together. I don't really mind. What do you think? Your squad time? <clears throat> all right, then. Great to hear. So, what's this base thing? And who are you guys? Feeling kind of lost here. I'll tell you all about it on the way. It's not like we're in any rush. Right. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Fine then. Great. Oh, hey, so about these Liberators, what do you guys even do? The Liberators are a resistance faction that Rex and I founded to fight back against Mobius. Okay. So you've been fighting them too? Yeah. Our goal is to free the world, to return it to how it's supposed to be. But right now, 
We have another immediate objective. What's that then? There are many people. Ones from the city, like you and Dylan. Or soldiers freed from the clocks. We rescue them. Keep them from harm. Working towards that is currently the Liberator's primary concern. <clears throat> At its founding, we only had a scant few members in addition to Rex and myself. But in time, the people we helped offered us their help in return. And our numbers have swelled considerably. Uh, so, are you okay there, buddy? Oh, but you'll see soon enough. There's our temporary camp now. Well, we made it. We should be safe here for the time being. You can use that tent over there. We've had it set up especially for you. Hi. Thank you. We'll do just that. Phew. Be a nice change to finally get to kip under a roof. <sighs> mm. Look. Everyone here knows what's what. Nobody's gonna bully you or anything. Gee, thanks. Very reassuring. Not. All right, break it up now. How about we grab a bite and unwind, eh? Don't need you running around hangry. I'm not really hungry. Uh. That growl says otherwise. Try to get some rest. We'll take the guard shifts. We'll be departing for base in the morning. Don't go the whole night without sleep. Noted. All right then. We'll see you later. That was harsh, boss. Hmm? You didn't have to talk to her like that. Not cool. Tell me something I don't know. <sighs> you don't want her with us, is that it? I'm sure she'd see sense if you just gave her a chance. What's the problem? Mm. Is it because she, uh... it feels too close to home? You always have to be right on the mark. Very well spotted, though. Linka. I knew it the moment I saw her. She looks like them. Exactly. I know, right? Someday, I knew it'd happen, but not exactly the best timing, is it? It's the same deal with him, you know. What, the Shulk? Really? Really, really. Panacea said she had a hunch. Strike me. <sighs> I guess we're bound by fate. Like it was meant to be. That little girl, uh... Nice gear you've got. <gasps> Is that their baby? The joints Wait. move without a hitch. And listen to the Is power that of that motor. It's just a tool for destruction. Death. Nothing to be praised. Good point. Oh. Uh, wow. Oh That's shit, it is That's pulse driver assembly. No wonder it's so pleasing to the ear. And melded with a cylinder. Perfect soldering technique. Hey, stop that. Did you make it yourself? Uh, oh yeah. boy. Well, I've always liked tinkering with machines as well. I can't help myself. Um, earlier, hmm? you tried to help us, right? Using this. A tool is merely a tool. It does as the user chooses. Wouldn't you agree? Be it to kill others, or to help them. You are. A war wound, from way back when. Then Riku here made me this one, but... But! What, please? Manner of expression seem pointed. Okay, I'm not how old is this bad. motherfucker? It's not bad at all. Just a little squeaky. That's same as saying bad. Riku had to make from hodgepodge material. 
Do not nitpick. <clears throat> hey, um, would you mind if I take a look? Thought so. Here, you're missing a shim between these bits. That'll be why it creaks. Hang on, I should have one here somewhere. A little bit of bonding. What? I won't run away again. Not as if there's anywhere left to run. I, uh... She does I think sound it was like good. them. What happened? Huh? Fighting against you. I don't understand. If we hadn't fought, we wouldn't be here now, like this. Here isn't exactly a sparking picnic. People would bully me. What? Because I can't summon a blade. It makes me kind of useless. Hmm. But all those bullies, they're dead now. Yeah? I'm all good for you. Bet that's a weight off you. Someone like me. How'd I survive? Nobody else did. But now, I can make something of myself. That's how it feels. Honestly, just knowing who I'm meant to be fighting, that's the biggest thing of all. Nicole. Another thing I'm happy about. Hmm? Back then, I'm glad I didn't have to kill you. You have got to be joking. A little squirt like you can never take me down. <laughs> that day, we became friends. Uh, uh, you're an idiot. Wow. She acts like Mithra too. Oi, oi. Lovely morning today. Perfect weather. Wrong. This cloud cover practically guarantees rain. Morning, everyone. Hello? Whoa! Did I just hear a hello from you? What next? A rain of brogs? Plain rain's bad enough. Damn, if I didn't know better, I'd think you were warming up to me. <sighs> I was forgetting the real idiot among us. There you go. It's cool. This is progress. Morning all. Feeling refreshed and ready to take on the world? Yeah, thanks to you guys. Haven't slept this well in ages. Don't mention it. It's gonna be quite a trek to our base, though. Yeah, speaking of, where is this base of yours, exactly? Once we climb that cliff and follow the road, you'll be able to see for yourself. Ha, oh, sweet! Can't wait to see what it's like. How about you, Glimmer? Not interested. Ah, uh, <laughs> still being a sulk, eh? I'm... A little curious, I think. Yeah, at a boy, Nicole. See that glimmer? You could stand to learn from this one. Can someone shut this guy up? <laughs> He'll grow on you. We have some refugees from the city, by the way, back at base. You should let them know you're fine once we've arrived. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Yeah, I'll be sure to do that. Thanks. All right, we all done with the banter. This road's not gonna walk itself. Yeah, yeah, let's make tracks. Alrighty.
heavy damage. Hmm. Okay. 